How pathetic can some people be? I don't usually mention this, but I married a lawyer, which I know sounds very impressive. Uh, every girl dreams when they grow up they're going to marry a doctor, marry a lawyer. But me, I had to marry the only lawyer in America with a conscience. Yes. No, no. I didn't marry the cutthroat, ruthless, give me all your money lawyer. No, I married the pay me what you can, whatever you can. I just want to see justice served lawyer. I got so ripped off, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what it's like? It's like I finally, it's like I finally banged a rock star, but he's with a Christian band. <laughs> 93.3 KZOC. And, you know, it's tough because um, these are bands that we all like and we play on the radio station on a regular basis. But I think this is really petty, especially when the greed. This is when I become stop becoming fans of, of bands that get petty like this. And I'm a, not talking about Tom Petty. I'm always a fan of his. Yeah, there's a number of bands that are getting together. Rest in peace. Guns N' Roses is one of them. Def Leppard is another. Uh, they're upset because a grocery store chain is taking, you know, titles of of their songs and using it in a line of their cheeses. All right? It's actually pretty, this is actually pretty good. Uh, how about Sweet Cheddar of Mind? All right, that's all right. That's pretty good. No, I like that. Uh, pour some Gouda on me. <laughs> My favorite. Girls just want to have Fontina. I don't even think I've had Fontina cheese, but it sounds like a fun cheese. Now I'm I'm pretty interested. Uh, let's see. The other one's uh, Billy Goat is my lover. Do you know who that's from? Billy Goat is my lover? Billy Goat is my lover. Oh, He's just a uh, cheese, but tells me I <laughs> am the one. It's Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah. Sorry okay. for the singing. That's all right. Sorry, total for, the eclipse of Sorry the, for the goat sound effect. Total eclipse of the Havarti. Now, now, that's, that's clever. Now, Bonnie Taylor, is, Tyler, sorry, is not coming after uh, this grocery store chain, and neither is Michael Jackson or Wham's Camp, because you got to wake me up before you goat goat. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can pour some Gouda on me. But Def Leppard, not very happy about it. Uh, Joe Elliott uh, weighed in. It's uh, completely illegal, absolutely nothing to do with us, nothing that we've sanctioned or said yes to. It's just totally unauthorized. So what you're going to find now, at least us and Guns N' Roses, are sending out cease and desist mm-hmm. to, uh, to stop them. Because I'm thinking, oh, man, if people really think that we're doing this, it's like being hacked out by a snow axe, you know. We knew nothing about it until a mate of mine said, nice. Are you going to start doing wine and cheese parties now? Then, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so the, I mean, the okay. chain is. Uh, is any logical thinking person going to be like, "Oh man, this is Def Leppard endorsed cheese"? No, people are going to think that's no. a clever play on yeah, words. Yeah, it almost looks. And like- when you come after, when you come after the supermarket chain for the cheese name. It makes you look like the bad guy. We all experience this with Lars and Metallica and Napster, right? Like Metallica faced some backlash for a little while and still does to this day. Like people make fun of Lars for being a greedy guy. Yeah, he's a little bitch. You're Def Leppard. You're Guns N' Roses. You're just counting cash. Just count cash all day long. Coming in. Boom. Count, count your stacks of cash. Count your stacks of cash. You can't have, let one supermarket chain. Now. Roll with those clever names of your cheese, which help Put promote your, your Make songs. America Great hat on for a second. They help promote your songs. Where's your, make, where's your Make America Great hat? Put it on. Now, if I say put your Make America Great Again hat on, and I tell you that this store that's doing this is a German-owned and a German store that does have stores in the United States, and they sell to, like, Trader Joe's and, and a few other uh, chains. But if I tell you that this is a German family with over 10,000 stores in 20 countries... Does that change your opinion? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Like, I, I, what did I think it was like one mom and pop. Like, they wouldn't go after one mom and pop. If one mom and pop was doing this, they probably we wouldn't even hear, hear the light of day. But because it's popular and people buy it. But, I mean, that's why it's popular and people buy it. And, yes, are they making money off of it? They are, but they're also paying tribute to these great songs. So why don't you see it for what it is as opposed to, this whole, like, ooh, got to protect our brain. And I, you know what? Until I heard Joe Elliott talking about it, I wasn't that mad at the bands. 
because I thought it was management. I thought it was management trying to protect sure. record label it. type yes. stuff. Yeah, the, like the bands would probably our cut? Would, would probably get a kick out of it and think nothing of it. But it's management that was the problem. But now that I hear Joe Elliott vocalizing the fact that he's upset about it and that it's totally illegal, it, and 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 that he said that Guns and Roses is joining in with him, it makes me like Def Leppard and Guns and Roses a little less. Uh- Sweet cheddar of mine. I mean, that's funny. <laughs> They're like, not singing it. It's just a title. I don't know. I, I want to see the packaging. I think it's really funny, good. and it, it makes the it makes the bands come across as as pardon the pun cheesy and cheap, cheap but cheesy. You know, it's nobody like, it's wants like to you be, can't just let no. everybody have a good time. You know, be like Poison. Poison would probably love. That cheese is named after. What, in fact, what, if I was a competing band in the same genre as 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 uh, Guns N' Roses and Def Leppard, I license my song titles to be used in cheese names to me. help promote my my bands. Uh, let's see here. And my songs. Talk Parmesan to me. No, that doesn't, doesn't work. Talk Havarti to me. Talk Havarti to me is a little closer. Havarti's a good one. It's already been used, though. Havarti might sue me. Oh, no, wait, that would be... Uh... Ah, ain't nothing but a good rind. <laughs> well, but that's... No, no cheese <laughs> Cheese has got a rind on it. Yeah, it does. Ain't got but... nothing but a good rind. I'll, I'll do the whole <laughs> cheese line. Well, congratulations to any band that gets on this class action lawsuit with Def Leppard. You are Jeff and Jeremy's. Dumbass of the day. <laughs> it's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.